Didn't they do a great job with this? These guys are awesome. Whoops, bent my picture, paper, sorry. Really? Come on, isn't that great? They just, oh, wow, this is your, your team, man. And how about Pastor Derek and Tibbs and Matt putting that together? Man, isn't that great? guys are so talented. Well, hey, as they, as they mentioned, we are starting our five-week uh, generosity, fully devoted series. Isn't that great? Yes. Turn to somebody and say, generosity. generosity. Yeah. Woo, we are generous people. You're, you're, this is a very generous congregation. You're awesome. And we get our generosity from God. Isn't that great? Man. So we're going to be talking about that. You know, uh, when, when I was younger and, and not in ministry, I would, man, I used to always think when somebody would talk about some kind of giving thing, I just got to admit to you, see, back then, I was just stingy, you know? And I thought it was a contest to see if they could pry money away from me, you know, no matter what they presented, I just, I was that bad, you know? And, and, and what, what, I, what I didn't understand was, God is always trying to bring blessing into our lives. And the way that he does that is through his word. And he has decreed, the same as when he said, let there be light and there's light. He has decreed how sowing and reaping works, how the tithe works. He's looking to bless us, not steal from us. He already owns it all. Okay? So, we're starting a series, uh, and then it's, it's not... You know, we have a series for five weeks, but generosity and fully devoted don't stop in five weeks and we just go on to the next thing. Do you understand that? We're just teaching the Word of God, and so we continue to participate in God's Word. So we got a video, and, uh, and they said, I need to get out of the way so you can see it. Am I blocking this? Am I that? All right. Roll the video. Hello, I'm Pastor Kit Tabor, Senior Pastor of New Life Covenant Church, and I am excited today to announce that we are embarking on a journey together, a fully devoted. Our mission statement from the very beginning has been building lives together to make fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ. And when we break that down, building lives together is our relationship statement, family, connecting. To make fully devoted means to be teaching and training, maturing, and growth. Followers of Jesus Christ means taking a living, active, obedient life into a lost and dying world to see change and see the Holy Spirit working as we go with Him into the world. In the past 22 years, we have been building or working together to make fully devoted followers of Jesus, as Romans 12, 4 through 8 tells us. In the human body, there are many parts with their unique function, and so it is with the body of Christ. We have been working together by using the grace gifts God has given each of us. These gifts are used to meet the needs of others, to be willing to stop and care for each other, to show compassion and help others, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Each of us play a vital role to encourage, show compassion, and help one another as family, as Romans 12.10 instructs. Be devoted to tenderly loving your fellow believers as a member of one family. Back in, in April of 1999, the Lord uh, put a, a poetic poem upon my heart, and basically it stated, build my people before the church steeple. And the uh, verse kind of went like this, Rejoice, for it's more important to build my people before breaking ground on a church steeple. And I think as an elder group and as a church, we have tried to stay um, confident in that line that, that we were wanting to build the people before we built any church steeple. The uh, verses go on to say, Keep pressing on, do not look back. I'm a God of much and I do not lack. New Life Covenant, you're doing it my way. You've done what I've asked and this is what I say. Well done, good and faithful people. Continue building my body and I will build the church steeple. Looking back over the last 22 years, God has done so much, it's exciting to witness lives being changed, transformed by the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Most of you all are aware of the scripture that says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. 
But what does that look like in daily living? Well, we are all in process. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I urge you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service or worship. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may, be, may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Fully devoted is a picture of inviting and allowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you into all truth and obedience. In Luke chapter 5, we have the story of Jesus preaching, giving the word to the crowd. He runs out of space because they're pressing upon him and he's near the water. He looks and sees a boat and he asks permission to enter the boat. It's Simon Peter's boat. And so he gives him permission and then he tells him just to push away from the, the shore. He delivers the message, the living word of God, as Peter's sitting there. And then he asks Peter, he gets out of the boat, says, Peter, launch out into the deep and uh, throw out your nets. Well, Peter's response is, we've been doing it this way for quite a long time, and which means we are cleaning our nets. We've been fishing all night and haven't received or gotten anything. But Jesus says, go on out. And Peter says, okay, at your word, I will be obedient, or at your word, I'll do it. And so they put out the, the nets, and, and, and when they do, a miracle happens. So many fish hit the nets that they have to call for help to get all the fish in. So in this story, we see a number of things. Jesus asked permission to get into your boat. Then he will give you a word, give you a word to, to launch out, to expect miracles, to participate with him beyond your comfort zone. And when we do, we are obedient, even though Peter was reluctant. Sometimes we're a little bit reluctant. And he throws out the nets anyway on Jesus' word, and a miracle happens. We have to participate in the word. Well, it's interesting because Peter's response is he comes and falls at Jesus' feet and says, leave me, I'm a sinner, I'm a bad guy to be around. But isn't it interesting that Jesus looks at Peter and then he presents to him, he says, Peter, from now on, see, I, you, will be call, you will be used in catching men, in, in, in being life to people. You will be more than just what you're thinking of yourself as a, as a sinner, as a, as a bad Christian, as a bad follower, as a bad whatever we would put in there. Peter wasn't perfect, but Jesus asked to use his boat and entered in and then with the word, he launched out with Jesus. And Jesus tells him, hey, I recognize who you are with all your imperfections, all the stuff. And I'm, I am calling you deeper. I want you to be all in. Come follow me. Come as he invites us today as believers, as followers, no matter where we're at in life, he wants us to come and follow and watch the blessing of God in your life. That is what Fully Devoted is all about. I'm excited about this challenge because it means Jesus is going to walk with me as I release more of myself to increase more in Him. My trust in His love is going to increase. I will see increase of Him working tangibly in me and through me. The challenge, Jesus, use my boat my life to expand your kingdom in any way you desire. May each of us accept the call of Christ to become fully devoted. I am excited about the Fully Devoted series because you are talking about helping people become all that they were meant to be. If we as believers trust and believe that what we have isn't really ours anyways, it belongs to God, then we should act like it and we should teach others how to do the same. You can hear over and over that your money and your time and everything that you have belongs to God. But if you aren't taught how to give it to Him, then how can you be expected to do so properly? So yeah, I am very excited about this series and learning how to live a generous lifestyle. It is so exciting. Fully devoted to me means I'm going all in. And uh, I want to see what God has. I want to be in, uh, in His uh, will and uh, walking where He wants me to walk. And um, I want to take people around me. It's just not about me, but it's about the people around me, taking my family, and we want to go deeper and deeper and see what God has in store for us. 
Whenever I think about this Fully Devoted series, I think I'm most excited about the challenge of um, being generous in a way that I never have been. I think that Derek and I have uh, really tried to make it one of our, our goals to, to love people well and to love people in places that, uh, that we already have. But I think that being able to generously give um, finances and things that, um, that we like to maybe hold on to a little bit tighter, um, I think that's pretty exciting to, to be challenged in that. But also, uh, I feel like we've been pretty good stewards of, of money, but this is going to put us in a place where we have to really look at um, look at our generosity as a whole and say, okay, we've been comfortable in giving in this way, um, but the Lord is calling us to more. And I'm excited for, for what that more looks like. We don't necessarily have the um, exact layout of what that will be, but I think that um, being able to jump in and trust the Lord and have faith and pairing that with our actions, um, we're gonna get to experience, I feel like, more of the goodness of the Lord generously devoted in our love, our speech, our actions, with our families, at school, in our relationships, our service, and in our finances. Every area of our life, God wants to transform us and, and bring forth the generosity of His heart through us. Our goal is 100% engagement at this time. So we're asking all of all the, the family here, the New Life Covenant family, to pray and seek God. What is God asking you to do? How is God expanding your generosity? Our hope is that everyone here experience the freedom uh, and surrendering to God in a living, fully devoted life. What excites me about Fully Devoted is getting to see everyone in the church, including kids and youth, make the mission statement more their own. And we each get to kind of go through this and recognize what we can do personally to be more fully devoted and more all in in every area of our lives. And I think that's gonna be pretty powerful, not only for individuals in their walks with God, but also for every ministry area and how we impact our community. The second goal that we have set is a financial stewardship. What are we doing? This church has always been generous. Over the next two years, we are setting a goal of $3.2 million. The 2019 budget is in that, the 2020 budget is in that, and that covers all the ministries that we are doing and have done and will be expanding to. $1.2 million is to retire the debt and, and, and complete the new heating and air and add bathrooms to the North Lobby and additional parking and whatever else would come up as we are pursuing what God has allowed us to do here with this building. Uh, the Lord has brought us to this place. It's no mistake. You're not a mistake. It's not a mistake that you are here. New Life Covenant is not a mistake. Our calling is not a mistake. God has called us and brought us to this place in His time. This is a legacy, a legacy that was formed when, when they started this church, called of God to reach Wichita. Then it expanded and grew, and they planted six or seven churches in this area to reach the people of Wichita. It just neat, it is something to me that this legacy now is continuing on. Those people brought it to this place and now we are entering the prayer and the legacy that the church set before us in reaching this city. And we are now being called to continue, not only just continue the legacy, but to bring it forth for the future generations and people uh, that we have not yet even met that the Lord wants to touch their lives. And so this is, this, is what we're, this is what we're all about. This is what Fully Devoted is about. And so we're also as leadership praying for what God would have us to do as we move forward in this great opportunity, this great legacy to be fully devoted. That's what Fully Devoted is. Well, I don't think I need to say anymore. If you have your Bibles, turn to Romans chapter 5. I'll make this very quick since we're running short of time. Oh, wow. You know that God is a very generous God. You know, He created all things and He said, it is good. And He gets that and He says, it's very good. He's very generous. He laid down the foundation of everything because He loved you. Continues to love you. Uh, 
So when he said it is good, creating all things, it was for us. And then we fell, fell into sin, and it separated us from God. But then God, in his great love, his devotion to us, then he sent Jesus. So in Romans chapter 5, verse 6, starts with verse 6, says, For when the right time, when the time was right, the anointed one, Jesus, came and died to demonstrate his love for sinners who were in entirely helpless and weak and powerless to save themselves. Now, who of us would dare to die for the sake of a wicked person? We can all understand if someone was willing to die for a truly noble person. But Christ proved God's passionate love for us by dying in our place while we were still lost and ungodly. Isn't that something? And there is still much more to say of his unfailing love for us. For through the blood of Jesus, we have heard the powerful declaration, you are now righteous in my sight. Isn't that powerful? And because of the sacrifice of Jesus, you will never experience the wrath of God. So if while we were still enemies, and that's what the Bible declares, God fully reconciled us to himself through the death of his son, then something greater than friendship is ours. Now that we are at peace with God and because we share in his resurrection life, how much more we will be rescued from sin's dominion. And even more than that, we overflow with triumphant joy in our new relationship of living in harmony with God, all because of Jesus Christ. Isn't that powerful? Aren't you glad to hear that? Man, a verse that probably many of you are familiar with. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. Turn to somebody and say, the world. Now look at them and say, that includes you. Yeah, it does. He gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Isn't that great? God has always had you in mind. He's fully devoted to you. And Ephesians 5 says, be imitators of God as dear children. Imitate God. Wow. In our generosity. In our devotion. He's calling us out. Many people pray, Lord, I want to I want to see more. I want to be more. Uh, uh, I want to see be more like Jesus. Well, it's going to take you cooperating with God's word. Then, you know, a lot of times people think, well, if I just uh, attend, then something. He's going to require for us to step out. Read the stories in the Gospels of the disciples. He will challenge them, but God doesn't challenge you to embarrass you. He always challenges us so that our lives will be more blessed. He is always trying to bring blessing, understanding, grace into our lives. So he's offering to us during this time as a church, believers together, to say, okay, what is fully devoted? To seek God and say, what, what, am I, what is my part in this? I always love the, the line that uh, Tracy House years ago said. She said, you know what? Uh, we were having a, a, a fundraiser at that point, And she said, you know... I've, I've always enjoyed the stories that people have about how God blesses their lives when they stepped out with God. But she tearfully said before the congregation, but now I want to have the stories. And in order for me to do that, I must step out with God. And I've never forgotten that. Wow, I want to be the story. I want to have the story. I think that's the heart of many people in here, if not all. As I was uh, thinking about this, meditating upon today, it was interesting to me as I thought about this building and how God has blessed us with this building. This building, uh, the, the church that was here, started uh, a long time ago when there was a, some women who had a prayer meeting after a Billy Sunday meeting. And they believed that God had called them to effect change in the city of Wichita. And then it grew, and, and, and as you know, if you've tried to walk around this building, it was built like concentric circles. And so uh, someone was happy that we intend to build bathrooms closer, and uh, so you don't have to go clear around, but you understand. And so I was thinking about it, so this building was built and financed, prayed for by people we don't even know. And many of them have passed on. 
And now we are standing on their prayers and shoulders. Now we are called to continue the heart of God to reach Wichita and the state of Kansas. To have those that we don't even know to stand upon our shoulders and to move forward. We have walked and entered the anointing of God that he started many years ago. No, he started thousands of years ago. For you and me. That we are called for such a time as this. His heart still beats for the lost. Our mission field is all around us. He has placed us in jobs. He has placed us in schools. He has placed us in in families, places all around to be light and darkness, to bring the gospel, the living word of God to those outside, just like he brought it to us. And so I am excited. I invite you to, to pray and seek God. What is your part? As we said, we want, we want everybody to participate. We're not going to check your bank accounts. We don't do that. We're asking you to ask God what he wants you to do over the next two years. How do you participate in that? And what does that look like? We're not asking for equal gifts. We're asking for equal hearts towards God. We're asking you to pray about that. And so uh, there are no first and, cla- first and second class citizens in the kingdom of God, and there aren't any in this church. Okay? But we do our, well, what we are asking as leadership to say, okay, we really trust in you. As, as you have presented yourself here and we present ourselves to you, say, okay, God, what is it? What would you have me to do? Where, where are you wanting to get in my boat? In my generosity with my family, my generosity at work, my generosity in, in, in the community, my generosity at the church, my service, my, my heart. We're asking you to say, okay, God, what does it look like? And I'm expecting, I'm expecting that this church will never be the same again. True. And I'm excited about putting in air conditioning. Did you know that one of our air conditioners went out? And if we don't get it fixed, come a few months from now, you'll be praying even harder. I know I will. <laughs> anyway. But that's not a, oh, if you don't get me. But, I mean, ever since we moved in here, I said, we need bathrooms back there so we don't have to go clear around. We need, there, there's just some things that, that are here, but that's, that's not even it. Because the building is just a tool. And we believe God has presented this, this tool to us, New Life Covenant. He has presented it to us. And though we want to be the good stewards of that. And like I said earlier, not only that, there's people who we don't even know yet. Some of them haven't even been born yet. Who we want to stand upon our shoulders. And then they look back, they'll say, you know, there was a church here at one time. And their prayers, and their faith, and their dedication, their devotion. And their generosity continues on. Wow. Look what the Lord has done. Isn't that great? Pastor Tim's going to come forward and, and uh, give you a little more information. <sighs> Isn't God good? Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Turn to somebody and say, fully devoted. Fully devoted. Woo! <laughs> hey, we're excited. Um, we already referenced these. I want to go through this with you just, just for a second and let you know everything that's in here. You know, um, there's a pretty audacious goal that Pastor Kit set as we were um, dreaming about this, and it's 100% participation. Everybody in here taking a step and growing and going after God in greater ways than you ever have before. And when he did that and when we when we thought, what are we going to call a series like this? And we looked at our own mission statement and said, well, there it is, fully devoted. It's right smack dab there in the middle of our mission statement. And then as we did it, every one of our, of our team, every, every pastor and every person on staff 
got pulled into the wake of this idea of what does it look like if everything we do is with excellence, if everything we do is unto the Lord, if everything we do. And so thus the video and, and, and Pastor Derek and his team up here cutting out letters, bending metal, and, and uh, that's, that's where this comes from. It's, it's a clear communication to everybody in here about what, where we're going over the next five weeks and, and what God has for new life over the next two years. And so the um, first thing I would recommend that you do is bring it for the next five weeks. There's message notes in here. Pastor Kit has done something he's never done before. Along with his preparation for the sermon series, there's personal devotions in here that you can go through throughout the week. There's life group questions in here uh, that your life groups, you, you can be prepared for life group tonight and next week as God is kind of stirring stuff in you. You can go ahead and have those answered uh, and, 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 and be ready. Also, it explains in some detail, Pastor Kit in that video explains a little bit about the finances. Why do we, why is it 3.2 million? Where, where does that come from? It goes through and it and explains in detail each of those uh, missions and, and what that looks like. So we just encourage you to take a look at that. And then also it has a really cool part. It has a couple of testimonies, our testimonies of this church and what God's done in the church's giving journey. And you guys have heard some of those testimonies, but they are pretty amazing. You know, this church is kind of built on the, you can't do that. You can't, uh, you can't pray in tongues in front of people. You can't stop a service and, 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 and just call people out. You can't just let the Holy Spirit. You know what? They said that you can't find a building, and by they I mean me and other people. We, we can't find a building that has it large enough for what the size of our congregation. It, we can't find a building of 800 seats. And look where we're sitting right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. When we moved into this building... When we moved into this building, they, and again, some of that is we just said, you know what? We won't be able to sustain a volunteer remodel over two months. That's churches don't do that. And we did that. And along the way, became closer family and accomplished more than we could have ever dreamed of in that 60 day period, which led on to like 120 days, really. But, uh, and, and, and then as they say, you can't talk about money in church. You can't talk about finances in church. Well, let me just tell you, Jesus is generous. God is generous. And here's the deal. The enemy is never going to quit dinging you with your finances. He's never going to quit dinging you with your generosity. He's never going to say, you, he's never going to quit telling you, you don't have enough to do that. You don't have enough to do that. And so what we're going to be as a church is from here on out, not just for the next five weeks, but from here until eternity, we're going to be a church that stands in the gap and says, you know what? This is what the word says about how to stand and how to give and how to receive from God. This is what the word says because God didn't leave it out. And we're not going to leave it out either. Amen. And, and, and so the, the, the last thing, the most recent thing is you can't get everybody to give. You can't get everybody to take a step. You can't get everybody to go all in. And so we listen, if this is your first service. Get ready. Get ready because we're, we're not just a church that wa watches. This is your opportunity to get involved. Get with God. We don't, expect, we don't expect that video or this booklet or, or, or anything else to move you. We expect you to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. And this church is so great about moving and acting on His voice. And what won't God accomplish? What won't we be able to do? When that happens, amen? So um, the Impact Prayer Team, you guys can go ahead and come up. You guys can go ahead and come to the front. If you need prayer, we want to be here for you. Just like Steve said, there's God's voice right for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this video, if you, if you if, anybody have their kids, anybody see a, like a clip from that video that they want to share? It is on fully devoted devoted can you devoted fully devoted.org it's a new website for us that we've launched also you can download this on a pdf live stream mike and dixie are all the way in hawaii watching hey it's got to be a good church if you're at hawaii Kauai, the greatest island in hawaii and you're like logging on because you miss your friends you don't want to miss it so um if you're online you can download this if you let us know your address, we'll mail one to you. We want everybody to have it. Again, 100% participation includes you guys. 
All right. If you, if you need prayer, we encourage you to come down. Everyone stand up. Grab the hand of somebody next to you. Cross aisles. Grab, everybody get a hand. Here we go. We're just going to pray and we're going to bless this. You guys commit to praying with us through this? Come on. 100%. This is, we're going to start off with 100% participation right now. You guys commit to praying into this and praying for, for this. All right, here we go. God, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you that it's because of your generosity. God, you loved us so much that you gave us your son, Jesus. And God, I thank you that fully devoted be about we love you so much that we give you our lives, that we give you every bit of our lives, that we open every door, every closet that's been closed to you, Father God, and we let you in. God, have your way, establish your kingdom and use our hands, use our feet, use our voice. Whatever we have, all we have is yours. We love you so much. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Have a great Sunday. Go Patriots. says because God didn't leave it out and we're not going to leave it out either. Amen. And, and, and so the, the, the last thing, the most recent thing is you can't get everybody to give. You can't get everybody to take a step. You can't get everybody to go all in. And so we listen, if this is your first service, get ready, get ready. Cause we're, we're not just a church that wa- watches. This is your opportunity to get involved, get with God. We don't expect we don't expect that video or this booklet or, or, or anything else to move you. We expect you to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. And this church is so great about moving and acting on his voice. And what won't God accomplish? What won't we be able to do when that happens? Amen? So um, the Impact Prayer Team, you guys can go ahead and come up. You guys can go ahead and come to the front. If you need prayer, we want to be here for you. Just like Steve said, there's God's voice right for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this video, if you, if you if, anybody have their kids, anybody see, uh, like, a clip from that video that they want to share? It is on fully devoted, devoted, can you, devoted, fully devoted.org. It's a new website for us that we've launched. Also, you can download this on a PDF. Live stream, Mike and Dixie are all the way in Hawaii watching. Hey, it's got to be a good church if you're at Hawaii, Kauai, the greatest island in Hawaii, and you're like logging on because you miss your friends. You don't want to miss it. So um, if you're online, you can download this. If you let us know your address, we'll mail one to you. We want everybody to have it. Again, 100% participation includes you guys. All right. If you, if you need prayer, we encourage you to come down. Everyone stand up. Grab the hand of somebody next to you. Cross aisles, grab, everybody get a hand. Here we go. We're just going to pray and we're going to bless this. You guys commit to praying with us through this? Come on. 100%. We're going to start off with 100% participation right now. You guys commit to praying into this and praying for, for this. All right, here we go. God, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you that it's because of your generosity. God, you loved us so much that you gave us your son, Jesus. And God, I thank you that fully devoted be about we love you so much that we give you our lives that we give you every bit of our lives that we open every door every closet that's been closed to you father god and we let you in god have your way establish your kingdom and use our hands use our feet use our voice whatever we have all we have is yours we love you so much and it's in jesus name we pray amen amen have a great sunday go patriots